Everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, everybody, we showed off everybody's uh, limit breaks. Cloud through, Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, Aerith, Red Thirteen, and Yuffie all showed off their level three limit breaks. While every character that we met after episode twenty, Ketchi, Vincent, and Sid, we showed off all their limit breaks because they're new and they're kind of scrubs. Anyway, we are back to Wu Tai because there is a side quest that we need to do. But first, well, we don't really need to do the side quest, but I usually like to do it. But first off, there's an enemy in this area I really want to nab. And now that I think about it, I grabbed the wrong materia, going for steel instead of manipulate. Yeah, I know I'm stupid like that. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, let's go ahead and find this enemy, because I happen to know which one... Uh, yes, we got him! Uh, these guys! Uh, dragon... Okay, this is a real bad idea, using limit breaks for all these characters. Uh, we may as well just use limit break once we get one of them. Okay, good, we got him. Razorweed, that's... A very bizarre man name if I ever heard one. Anyway, these guys possess an enemy skill called Magic Hammer. Let's go ahead and use it. That steals 100 MP. Yes, I lost MP for using that enemy skill. And yes, I'm gonna use it. And I'm about to be using it on Vincent because he happens to have one too that I accidentally had equipped to him. Now we can kill them all. Go on ahead, kill them. That enemy skill is ours. Back here right next to Wutai, we're gonna go ahead and enter the village itself. Because this next particular side quest actually happens to be here in Wutai. Who would have thought? Yeah. Uh, what I am going to do is that I am going to strip everybody of their materia. Sounds kind of fishy, but... In all honesty, we really no no one here besides Yuffie is going to need materia. Um, in fact, I wonder: is there anybody else in our party who happens to have any materia? Uh, Barrett, Tifa, let's get you guys and see if you guys have anything. No. Okay, sorry about the cut there. I was going ahead and making sure that ever, that nobody had materia. Thankfully, nobody did. Cloud has 2,222 HP out of 2,222 HP. Wow, that's... Very crazy. Anyway, now that I know that nobody has any materia on them, we are going to give Yuffie the following materia. Enemy skill. Okay, we need some healing. Restore for more healing. Also, that enemy skill is used for a lot of other things. Uh, I wonder, do I have an HP plus material? I don't have an HP plus material. Oh, this could be potentially bad. Yeah, the other enemy skill you want is counterattack. And there's another one you want, and it's a materia that we have not used in an awful long time. Poison. I think this is all we need coming in here, but I think we should be fine. Uh, first off, I'm going to equip Yuffie with... Ooh, Eden Code. Yeah, let's give Yuffie Eden Coat. I think that's gonna be like I think that's gonna be our best bet coming in for now. Uh, I'm gonna equip Gen Ring for now. Uh, Gen Ring protects against Paralyzed, Petrify, and Slow. Those are statuses. Well, one of those statuses you're going to be encountering in the side quest. Anyway, our destination lies in the center. 
Oh, Pagoda. Let's... Nice. This is... Oh, Miss Yuffie, will you, be, will you be climbing the Pagoda today? Yep. Let's do it. Then I, Sacred Gorky, will be your opponent on the first floor. Yo, they call me Shake. I'll be watching your fight with Gorky. Then begin. Anyway, this is Yuffie's time to shine. Power change. Anyway, the Wu-Tai side quest is very simple. Alright, so Gorky here loves barriers. You wanna know what ignores barriers? Enemy skills. We literally just nuke him. And we also have our trusty magic hammer enemy skill. Also, we need to restore some HP right now, cause Gorky hurts. And Gorky also has regen, so that's really not good. So he's recovering health, like, big time. Um, it also really does not help the fact that Gorky is very mean. He has, like, Gorky doesn't really have a lot of HP. He just restores it a lot. Like, he just restores it really fast. Um, okay, you can't... But he can do that. I need to heal now. These fights are pretty difficult. I will say that. Uh, Yuffie has a limit break. Let's use Doom of the Living. We are going to be needing it. And Gorky, I don't think, should be... Alive. Yep. That's it. That's Gorky. And yes, we had to do that whole thing alone with Yuffie. And we get next potion as our reward. Here I am, Miss Yuffie. Of course. Hmm, I thought you were just a girl, but you handled that pretty good. Let's see how you do on the next one. Gorky, I'd say, is probably the second hardest. Like, I came in there, like, not too prepared for him, but... I felt pretty good fighting him. Compared to other fights that aren't really gonna be very friendly. And here, on floor number two, who's next? Are you blind? I'm right here. What? I gotta fight a punk? Heh, <laughs> punk. I'm more than an adult than some bimbo girl. Anyway, it's like. Shake is our next opponent. Over here. I guess it's Chekhov's turn. Speed. Shake is very fast. And yes, Shake also resembles one of those penguins from earlier. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and magic hammer right here, just so... Well, yeah. I can just go ahead and steal some MP. MP is really gonna be important for this fight. Uh, I think I'm also gonna use poison. See what I can do with that. Shake is very fast. And, oh crap, I did not get the poison. Uh, white wind. That will, that will do me pretty well. And a miss. Perfect. Uh, now we can just go ahead and go in for the Aqua Lung. Shake doesn't really have a lot of HP at all. In fact, I doubt it'll really... Well, then again, Gorky had less. So I'm not really... Rage Bomber. Uh-oh. That hurt a lot. Heal quick. Okay, that'll do. If we can, if like we can win this, if we can drain Gorky out of MP. And also, Gorky doesn't have MP, MP, um, a lot of it, uh, a lot of HP either. Plus, we also have um, 
Okay. Heal again. This is bad. I might have to like I might have to limit, but I don't really want to. I want to preserve my limit in this place as much as I can. Uh, upper one. Big guard is another option. In fact, in the later fights, I will be using big guard. Just because of how useful it is. But shake is pretty much done. And we also limit to preserve. We get a turbo ether. So you can fight a bit. Of course. It's been a while since I've felt pain. Anyway, up on floor number three, it's Chekhov. I want to heal because Chekhov, I believe, is fairly tough. Anyway, so even Shake's been defeated. It's been a while since you had the fight, eh, Chekhov? Unfortunately, this is as far as it goes. Stanev, you watch over there. That ain't gonna hap- that ain't going to happen. I'll teach you about the strength of youth. What do you expect from a child? Barely out of- Pff, Wow. Um, yep, let's go ahead and jump into the fight. Chekhov, you're not about to be- well, feeling really well here. Magic. Yes, Chekhov specializes in magic. Poison might be your best friend here, but you know what? I got limit breaks. Die. Chekhov also has Absorb, and that's not fun at all. Also, we're going to go ahead and use Bio, because I believe Chekhov, yep, susceptible to that. Stare Down. You know that gem ring we, we acquired? Nope. Not having any of that. Uh, we, we can also... Yeah, let's Big Guard. Let's go ahead and set up Big Guard, because we really need to be using that, and that's another thing we need to be setting up. Ooh. Tier two now. We we gotta do it at this point. We we need the heal. Uh, we can also um, and, uh, magic hammer check out. Okay, or you know he can just die like that. That works too. And we get an ice ring. Anyway, progressing to the next room. However, I kinda want to heal Yuffie a bit. Um, things are not gonna be looking real pleasant. Uh, I have two elixirs on standby, just in case. In fact, I believe this is the second to last one, I believe. So... Yeah, weapon change. Stunnif, this guy can be pretty oppressive, but we're gonna line set up big guard and we will just use Doom of the Living because we can do that. Uh, Gauntlet will also like take out, I believe, about a fifth of uh, Chanev's HP. In fact, I think we're gonna go for Gauntlet here, just because it's really powerful. So we're gonna just gonna go in for that. Yep, that'll take out. Dang, that was almost about two thirds of his HP. That was almost about like two fifths of his HP. That was really powerful. So in in comes the Aqualung, and let's use Bio. 
We, we got some... Okay, we probably don't have any more HP to spare. Um, if we can... Wait, no, no poison. Uh, good guard. Okay, we're gonna big guard this turn, and then we are going to cure two. Uh, we cannot take another hit. And then I'll magic hammer next turn, so we can get our MP back. Alright, so now that, that is in play, I think... Okay, big guard, so good to go. We'll do him the living this turn. And then we'll set up big guard afterwards. If he's not already dead... Uh, are you dead? Yep, you're dead. Alright. So, as the second to last fight, and before you do go to the last one, I strongly suggest healing yourself pretty much immediately. This next fight is not fun. Oh, well. What do you got here? The next fight is incoming. We have to face him. Oh boy. This is not gonna end well. Before you go into this next room, I strongly suggest changing your equipment. Swap the gem ring out for the white cape. This, actually no. Yeah, you want, yeah, you want, um, you want white cape. Um, this next fight coming up is very difficult. In fact, I'm going to go back and save my game before I do anything. So I'll be right back. And here we are. Our final opponent. That was to be a very familiar face. The dad? I'm glad you made it this far, Yuffie. But why... why are you... I'll answer you by having you try your skills against me. Hold nothing back. Come as if you're trying to kill me. If you don't, then I'll have to kill you. But hey! What are you doing? Omni-change! Anyway... It is now time for an optional boss battle. Goto! Big guard immediately. This guy hurts. And we also got inflicted with poison. That's not good at all. Um, we do have white wind at the steady. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, this is bad. 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 Crap. Do the living. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. And we missed, though, but... I guess it's fine. If he uses Demi-3 or that attack, we should be fine. Granted, it doesn't kill, because these are gravity-based attacks. But if he uses, like, something, like, immensely powerful... This is a fight that I like to use War of Attrition on. Goto hurts. If my HP count from the first 10 seconds of this fight is any indication, Goto is mean. He also has that. I'm also gonna use Magic Hammer to drain him of his MP. This way we can catch up Big, uh, big Guard. This is pretty much a war of attrition. This is not gonna go well at all. Also, kind of why I have Fury on. Um, I also want to try and get some poison damage on him event at some point. I don't think that's gonna be right now. I kind of want a White Wind. Oh, I probably should. Well, no. I, I really do want a White Wind because. Well, I only recovered that set amount of HP. Uh, what do I go for? Let's go for Bio. 
I think we should be I think we should be fine against Goto right right around now. But if we get the poison on him, that'll be really good. But he can also heal himself, and that kind of poses an issue. Uh, luckily, we have the white cape, so that'll transform you. That'll either make you mini or it'll turn you into a frog. I don't know which one. Uh, but I am not willing to test either or. Beast Sword's coming back out, and this is going to be the doing quite the hefty chunk. Luckily for us, we got, well, Big Guard. We also have like, a lot of our enemy skills. I kind of want to drain Goto of his MP a little bit. He also has the enemy skill for trying, so I'll straight up ignore your barriers and stuff like that, and that's almost going to kill me. And in fact, uh, I'm, th I'm thinking about Demi-3, it's not going to kill me. Let's X Potion. That's not going to kill me. I should be fine. That brings me back to full health, and I can just use Doom in the Living. Beast Sword's not going to do much. Okay, there's some extra damage there. Doom of the Living! I think I also want to go in for some magic hammers this turn, just to get some MP back. Because if he can just constantly heal himself... Oh, he's done! Wow, okay. Yuffie almost gets a level up for that, and we get all creation. Old coot. Not bad. You've also improved. <laughs> like father, like daughter. Also, I don't think that's how it goes. It's time I gave this to you, Yuffie. This is Leviathan materia. Take it. We receive Leviathan. Lord Godo, Leviathan materia should only be given to the person who conquers and takes over this pagoda. That is our custom. Custom? 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 I'm so sick of hearing that. So stupid. Silence, Miss Yuffie. Then what about all you? With all your power? Are you satisfied being cooped up in this tower? Yuffie. You too, Dad. Just because you lost the war. You turned Wutai into a place like this? What do you mean? You turned Wutai into a cheesy resort town, peddling to tourists. How dare you! Dao Chao statue and Leviathan are ashamed. She is a kid. What did you say? Yuffie? Forgive me. It's all my fault. What are you saying, Lord Goto? Losing the war. Turning Wutai into this. It was all my fault. Lord Goto. Silence! Yuffie. I am the same now as I was before when I wanted war. But after losing, I began to think. Is strength for beating enemies? Or something, or just something to show off? My baguettes might. 
the same as Shinra. I knew you were looking for materia for the good of Wu Tai. But the reason I hide my strength now is also for the good of Wu Tai. And now I realize both are necessary. Strength without determination means nothing, and determination without strength is equally useless. Lord Godo. You there. Please take Yuffie with you. I perceive that you all have both deter determination and strength. As long as she doesn't interfere. Alright. I don't mind. Go, Yuffie. For the sake of Wu Tao. Dad. I'll take care of the five sacred gods until you return. Go, and come back alive. Duh. What a weird line. Anyway, why is everybody exiting this place in a line? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, guys? Yuffie. Wait a minute. After their battle is over, do you think they'll still want all their materia? Dad? Go. Fight to the end. But come back. With the materia! <laughs> you bet. They're gonna steal our materia. How dare they. But anyway, we're out of here. And the item that we won from Goto, all its creation, is a limit break for Yuffie. That is the second level 4 limit break in the entire game. Also, I forgot to set uh, Red 13 to his level 4. But Yuffie will now be set to her level 4 as well. This is the earliest you can tackle this side quest. No exceptions. And that's pretty much fair considering... I mean, well, actually, hold on. I want to say you can trigger the side quest... No, you can't do it until you get all your materia back. Honestly, fair, because I don't think it's possible to even beat Goto, even though he has a maximum health HP stat of 6,000, and he also replenishes it. I don't think it's possible to beat Goto without any materia. Like, I was barely able to beat him, and, like, he beat me down within the first 10 seconds. Like, dude beat us up. Like, it was crazy. But anyway, Yuffie now has her level 4 limit break. And we have defeated Goto. On the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7, we're gonna go to the Gold Saucer and find Dio as he is our next target. See you guys then.